everybody, so today I have a haul for you and this is probably not the kind of haul you'd think to see on my channel. Um, now before you go thinking any kind of thing, it is a puppy haul because I will be getting a puppy on the 16th of July. Um, she's a little border collie puppy, she'll be nine weeks old when we pick her up and she's called Pepe and <laughs> just show you a little picture of it. If you follow me on like Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, you'll have already seen her, but this is what she looks like. Or this is what she looked like when she was four weeks old. Um, so we'll be going to pick her up on the 16th of July. And I just want to show you some of the things I got for her. Now I have owned dogs before, I've had a um, Alsatian and a Golden Labrador. So a Border Collie is something a little bit more different, they are um, a lot more active, um, especially when they're puppies, they're very intelligent um, and they are really good dogs to have and um, like I said I've had dogs before so I know what it's like to own a dog and everything. Um, and if you watch my last video, which I believe was part one of my pet tag, uh, part two will be with Pepe. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get in the hall, get into the hall. Um, so, before I actually do that, how Pepe came, how the name Pepe came about, um, our dogs originally we had, our Alsatian was called Sasha and um, our golden labrador was called Skye. Now, we didn't actually name Skye, we um, got her from a rescue, um, and her name was already Skye, and it just kind of stuck. Um, and Sasha, Sasha we had from a puppy, um, uh, but I was only really little when uh, Sasha was a puppy. And um, we haven't had dogs for nine years and my dad's always said that we weren't having another dog but um, my boyfriend's mum's best friend her dog had a litter of seven puppies and um, we kind of convinced my dad that we were having one so um, she comes from a litter of six boys she's the only girl in the litter and um, we, well, me and my mum, we've always said we wanted another dog. So, um, we've gone through any, everything. We're paying, we're just got a little bit more to pay for her, um, which I'm doing when we go down to pick her up. And um, uh, the uh, breeder who I actually know because she is a good friend of my boyfriend's mum, she's also a good friend of mine. Um, She's keeping me up to date on everything and she's just um, they've just had their injections and the microchip um, and yeah so uh, since we knew that we were getting Pepper we've kind of been collecting um, little bits and pieces for her ready for when we bring her home and everything so um, yeah I'll go ahead and get straight into it so I have this box stuff <laughs> that we're keeping all the things in because we thought if we keep um all her like toys and stuff in a box then she knows where they are and we can um my aim is to try and train her to be able to put her own toys away um that's my aim whether it actually happens or not we shall see but before i go ahead and get into that i'll go into the things that are not in the box so the first thing is this bed now you may be thinking that is a little bit huge for a puppy but the idea behind getting a bed this big is so that um, she can use it now but it's so we don't have to go and buy another one um, when she gets bigger. Now yes I know that might sound a little bit like cheap skate-ish and everything but um, it's kind of like a case of we don't want to go getting a smaller bed and then getting a big bed and then not knowing what to do with the smaller bed um, and everything. So we've got this bigger bed. This one is actually her downstairs bed. It's just a normal dog bed. Paw prints all over it. I got this from um, 
Cadman's, which is our local pet food um, and supply store. It is so soft. I'm not kidding. I could just cuddle this. It is that soft. Um, but that's one of her beds. And yes, she may sound a little bit spoiled at this. And by I mean one of her beds. It's because we also have this one. <laughs> which is her bed for upstairs. Because she'll be sleeping at the end of my bed. Um, this one is a bunty bed we got it off of amazon but it's got like sides on it and everything it's the both um washable so if any accident should happen um we can just stick them in the wash and everything so she's got two beds <laughs> she's such a lucky little puppy i'm telling you. um this one it kind of speaks for itself because even dogs have to do their business i mean come on guys it's just it's one of those things, but with puppies, you kind of have to train them at first. And um, this is, it's its basically a puppy training mat. But what it is, is it's this plastic mat that you can take these two bits off and just wipe them um, if she uses it. But the thing is with it, it's got this little bit, which is like, it looks like artificial grass. So we're hoping that that'll in a way help her and everything. This was from the, I think we got this off around this in as well. Um, but the idea behind that is like try and train her to go out on the grass and everything. Because believe it or not, puppies bless them. Um, you can train them like quite well and border collies um, like I said, they are intelligent, so you can actually train them quite click, quite quickly. But um, they need somewhere to go, and they don't always go outside. So that's what that's for. Um, the other thing I have is this. It might look a bit random, but it is a car window vent. So if I ever take her out in the car or anything, what I can do is just wind the window down slightly put this on, wind it back up, and it lets the air flow through, but it also means that she can't stick her head out of the window or try to get out of the window. Um, so that's for the car, which I thought was a pretty good idea because um, from previous experience with dogs, we've had them sticking their heads out of the window and everything, but it's, it's kind of an idea to just deter her from sticking her head out of the window but it's also to let all the cool air in and everything so she doesn't get too hot while she's in the car um not that i would ever take her out and leave her in the car if i'm ever going somewhere and um, if i'm taking her out in the car it'll be because i'm taking her somewhere to go out like um we've got linica reservoirs and um, walton woods and um uh, the Peak District itself. There's quite a lot of areas around here that you get really nice areas to take dogs for walks. Um, I mean, where I actually live, we have the Five Pitch Trail, which is a really nice area to walk dogs. So um, that will be like if I'm ever taking it out and it's like it's quite a hot day, um, I'll wind the window down, put this on, <coughs> uh, wind it back up. Yeah, put this on so she's got some cool air just flowing into the car, some cool fresh air flowing into the car. The next thing we have is one of these. Now, normally I would just throw a tennis ball like this, but sometimes you need that extra little bit of uh, force behind the tennis ball. So um, we've got one of these tennis ball throwers that came, actually came with the tennis ball. Um, and that's a good because it gives them really good exercise. You can go out on the field, you can throw them, throw the ball and uh, train them to like bring it back and everything. So we've got one of those for her. Okay, so now moving on to what's in my box. So the first thing in my box is this dual headed brush. You've got metal um, bristles on one side, nylon bristles on the other side. Uh, this is from Pets at Home. And um, with her being a border collie, like we're gonna have to brush her quite a lot anyway, because she they they do molt a lot. Um, so we've got that one. And then this one we do actually really need, but 
I picked it up because I thought it'd be quite a good idea and I actually got this from Poundland and it is a dog treat tin in the shape of a bear which I thought would be a really good idea to keep all the treats in and everything and then she knows that if she's been a good girl we can go into this tin and get her a treat out and everything so we've got that one um, and then we got these from Amazon we got some different these are like soft um, balls that they can just like chew on and they won't fall apart and everything but they actually fit in this as well um, and they are very very bouncy they're like the little power ball like the little um, I think the power balls that you can get so if you throw one of these and it hits somewhere it will bounce back at you at speed um, but they're quite soft so they're um, she can chew on them and it won't do any damage to her teeth or anything uh, next up I have one of these. This is a dental ring which will be good for a teeth. I actually got this from Poundland as well. It's quite a tough material but um, again it will be really good for her teeth and everything so got that. So then I also have this little thing so instead of carrying like dog bags everywhere with me because again dogs have to do their business and you have to pick it up no matter what so um we got one of these which is a little it's a little bag that you can clip onto your belt or something and on one side you've got a dog bag holder on the other side you've got your um you can put all like your refills and everything in for the uh, dog bag but the middle bit you can carry like little treats in and we've got these little uh, these are training treats, these are liver flavoured training treats. So what you can do is, if we ever take her out for a walk anything, or any of them, I've got um, training treats in my bag, I can just clip it to my belt and um, it's actually really quite handy but it also means that I can keep it on me when I'm trying to tra like house train her and everything. So um, I believe we got that from Amazon as well. Next up we've got these from... Um, as they, I believe, and the first one is a. This is a puppy toy, and it's a bacon flavored bone. So that'd be really good for her to chew on instead of chewing on all like furniture and everything. And it's got that um, flavor to it as well. So we thought that were a good idea. And and we also have this newspaper for her, which is it's crinkly, but it also. It also squeaks, but every my belief is every dog has to have a squeaky toy because um, our last two dogs, um, whenever we give them a squeaky toy, they used to literally kill the squeak. They would take the squeak out of the toy, and it, it was just it was just so funny watching them do it. But I thought that'd be a really good idea for her, so we got her that as well. Um, and the next couple of things are these Kong things um and you can put treats inside of these so basically this is what this one looks like you put treats inside of it and everything it's squishy it's quite durable so if she chews on it she's not going to hurt herself um and it's not going to fall apart as much and we've also got this one as well which she can um chew and you can put treats inside of it and what we actually used to do with our other dogs is we used to get a plastic bottle put like a bit of food in and if we ever went out anywhere we'd put the lid on and leave her with it and she'd um, by the time we got back she'd have taken the lid off and eaten all the food out of it so it's something to keep them occupied if we're not in the house um for any period of time not that we ever get out of the house for long anyway but I'm just thinking these would be a good idea because we can put treats in for her and she can uh, bat them around and try and get the treats out and it, it, it keeps them occupied but it also gives them, gives them that little bit of a... Uh, it, it just means they can have a play and everything because with board college you've got to keep them uh, keep them guessing and you've got to keep like the brain going and everything like that so we thought they'd be a good idea Next we have one of these which is a travel water bottle um, which I will be taking down, we're actually going down to Norfolk to pick her up. So um, what you do is you fill this with water, put it in there and then but if you're ever out anywhere and you just want to give her a 
well, so you squeeze the bottle and it comes out into this tray, um, which is a really, again, a really good idea because if we ever go anywhere like out for a walk to say Lineker Reservoir or anything, we can take this with her and she can have a drink of water and I'm not going to worry and I won't worry that there's something in it that she, that's going to harm her or anything because I know there's been quite a bit of things going around it. If you ever see water bottles outside of like a pet shop or something, um, people have been putting like antifreeze in it or something and I, I want to have like that reassuredness that she can have a drink and she's not going to get harmed or anything so I think that's a really good idea. And next up I've got a mat. This is for her food and water bowl. Um, now the food and water bowl we are actually using are the ones that we've used for our dogs before. We Don't worry, we've washed them, we've cleaned them, we've sterilised them, we've made sure that they're okay for her. The idea is because we've got a laminated floor in our kitchen, um, they'll like slide about a lot. So the idea behind getting this was so that it'll stop them from sliding about and, and she's not going to ta be taking a bowl for a walk around the kitchen. So that's from Pets at Home as well. The water bottle I believe we got from the range um, and then we got these from Amazon with they're just some blankets for her so she can have one on her bed she's got one for the car and um, one for if we ever need to wash one of them and um, she's also got another purple one which is actually with her at the minute because um, what what my friend said was um, if she had a blanket with my scent on it um, she'd be okay with me and she'd know what I smelled like and she'd know who and who her owner was and everything and we'll be bringing that blanket back with us because it'll have the scent of like mum and the other puppies on it as well so she's got again that kind of like she's reassured that she's safe she knows where she is and everything so we've just got her some blankets and um Moving on, we've um, what we would have normally done with our other dogs is our other dogs would have travelled in the boot um, of our cars, but um, both, well, my dad's recently had a new car, and I myself have just recently got a car, and, and neither of the boots of the cars are big enough to carry a dog, and um, I always said, that if I was going to get another dog, I don't want her travelling in the boot. I want her somewhere where I know she's going to be safe. So, um, what we've got is we've got this car harness for her. Um, now, it does come with an attachment that you can put around a seatbelt and everything. But what we actually did is we got a different seatbelt attachment that actually clips into the um, seatbelt holder and then it clips onto the harness itself. So she can move around a little bit, but if we do end up like breaking suddenly or something ha something like that happens, she's not gonna go like shooting into the back of some seats and hurt, get hurt or anything. So we thought that'd be a better idea than just having her in a boot of the car and um, getting hurt if if god forbid anything happened so we've got that and we actually have three three of these seat belts i've got one for my car one for my dad's car and one for my boyfriend's car so if we went out in any one of those cars we know that we've got an attachment for the harness so we don't have to keep moving it from car to car. We also have uh, three car seat covers and what they do is they go over the headrests of the back seats but it also hangs over the headrests of the front seats as well so it's kind it kind of goes in a U shape and what it is is if she ever gets mucky it doesn't mucky the seats up but it also doesn't mucky the back of the seats up and it's kind of like that little barrier there for it. Um, so you can mucky the car seat up as much as you want, but you don't mucky the car up. Um, and again, we've got three of those. I've got one for my car, one for Chris's car, one for my dad's car. Um, so we don't have to keep moving it around from car to car. And finally, 
the last two things I have is first of all her lead I will be getting a different lead for when she's a little bit bigger but for now while she's only little I thought this would be great it's uh, it's just a blue lead but the bones and the pores on it are actually reflective which I thought was a really good idea what I'm actually going to do is if I ever take her out at night I'm going to get her one of them little LED collars that flashes uh, just so I know where she is and everything and um, this is her collar, she's actually got two tags on it for the reason is um, the regulations for a pet tag now is it's got to have your number on it, your last name, the first line of your address and your postcode. It doesn't necessarily have to have their name on it because even if they're microchipped, if, if, we go, like if they get lost or some, something, um, and somebody picks them up and decides that they're actually going to keep her it's kind of that case of if they don't want to bring them back or send them back to wherever because um, unfortunately some people do that and um, but yeah so those are the regulations for it so we've got one tag with all my like all my details on it so my number my home phone number, my last name, first line of my address and um, the postcode on it as well. But I did go and get another tag with her name on it. And I don't know if you can read it, but it does, it says Pepe. Now again, like her lead, this is reflective. So if we're out walking and a car light kind of like captures it, it will reflect back at it. Um, now this is a medium, this is the smallest it goes, I'm obviously going to have to adjust it a little bit when we go and get her because she won't be this little anymore, um, but it does actually stretch out quite long if I can remember how to do it. But at least we'll know where she is because all we'll be able to hear is the jangling and everything. Come on, come on. But that's the biggest it'll go, which I don't I don't know if we'll need it to go that big or anything because I'm not quite sure how big she'll grow to because she is actually the runt of the litter. But um that's the good thing about it being adjustable is the fact that we can adjust it to her as she grows up um, so yes that is my little puppy haul it is long and <laughs> I do apologize because I actually got a phone call towards the end of the video so if I actually repeated myself that's why because I completely forgot what I was saying um, but that's my little puppy haul for my little border collie that I get to pick up in just over a week um, because, it, bleh, because it is the 6th of July today um, so part 2 of my pet tag will probably be up a couple of weeks after that um, just so I can get her settled in and everything and we've got to go and get her set, second set of injections done um, just after we pick her up because she'll be um, it'll be two weeks after she's had her injections so we can uh, go get a second set done and get all that sorted and everything just get settled in and everything because our, relig uh, our original plan was to have her sleep downstairs um, but from previous experience from previous experience with the dogs that we've had um, whenever they slept downstairs they'd start howling and barking so we've all, always had them upstairs with us um, when they uh, when we all go to sleep and everything so that's why she's got her own bed for upstairs and she's got one for downstairs so that was my little puppy haul um, I'm actually really excited about getting Pepper and everything and um, yeah, if you guys have got any pets, let me know. Let me know uh, what kind of pet they are um, and everything. If you want to go ahead and do the pet tag, I will link it down below. 
I will link my pet tag down below that I did with my rabbit and um, all the questions will be in the description box of that video as well so if you want to do the pet tag all the questions will be there for you and you can link me the video as well if you want and I'll go and watch it and all this um, but if you've got any video requests just let me know in the comments down below um, and yeah I hope you're all an amazing day stay beautiful stay awesome and I shall see you all soon bye